Okay, so now I'm going to look at the filters you'll commonly want to use for doing any sort of cleaning or remeshing in MeshLab. So if I go back to this filters menu, I, I'll remind you that this is kind of the core of what MeshLab can do for you. So there's tons and tons of filters. I won't be going through them all, but they're organized into these different menus. And the ones you'll want to focus on are the cleaning and repairing menu, the remeshing simplification reconstruction menu, and the smoothing, fairing, and deformation menu. The one to start with is always going to be the cleaning and repairing. These all are different ways to get rid of geometry that's going to cause issues later down the line. So I can start with these repair non-manifold geometry. Um, and nothing looks like it happened. No dialog box popped up because there were no options for that one. But if I look in the corner down here, I can see that it has successfully removed 20 non-manifold faces, and that just means they're kind of twisted or distorted in a way that doesn't make sense for real-world geometry. So now if I go back, I could always run through these again. Um, I will say this one has caused a crash for me before, and it's really not uncommon, which is why you'll just want to save often. Um, other useful things are removing isolated pieces um, either by diameter or however else. And you'll notice as I'm going through these, these nice little descriptions pop up. So if there is a filter you're interested in that I'm not talking about, you can uh, get a little description of it, um, or even just by Googling and looking at the MeshLab documentation. Um, things like duplicate faces. Looks like I didn't have any of those. And so if I'm cleaning, I'll usually just run through a few of these. Um, especially the non-manifold ones, until I feel satisfied that, at least for the most part, my geometry is good. And if I get errors down the line, it'll usually reference specific issues um, that I can then go back and use those filters to correct. Okay, next is the remeshing simplification ones. There are a lot here, and you'll notice a lot of them are things that there are multiple of the same kind of things, so multiple subdivision filters, multiple simplification, and that just has to do with them being done through different algorithms. So kind of the key ones we want to look at here are the uniform mesh resampling, which um, you'll see I've got some options popped up. I usually play with these a couple times just to get them right for the specific mesh. Um, like I might want to try turning this down a little bit. Um, I do want clean vertices. And what this should do is make it so all my polygons are roughly the same size. So now you'll see, I, I sh should have turned it down so the polygon size was a little lower, but all of these polygons are essentially the same size now, which is useful uh, for other sorts of analyses. Another similar one would be the surface reconstruction screen Poisson, although that can get rid of some like um, sharper edges, so it'll kind of depend on what the shape of your mesh is. Um, and so those two mainly for resampling. Um, and then if you want to do something like, like decimation, which will reduce your number of polygons while retaining the uh, inherent shape of the structure, you can use one of these simplification ones. So um, something like the, and, and again, they're just different algorithms. So you can test them out and see what'll work best for your particular mesh. And I can see now that not only are they all the same size, but they are much fewer polygons than there were before. Probably a little too fewer. I would want to tweak the tools on that. Um, Another thing to note is there is no undo button, so I'm kind of just stuck with this uh, mesh for now. Uh, the final ones I wanted to point out are the different smoothing ones, and again, there are different algorithms, but something like the Laplacian smooth that again, just save frequently, save different iterations, and play around, and you can see how it's smoothed out some of those rough edges. And those are kind of the core ones that I recommend using, but 
just because there are so many different algorithms available since this is an open source software it's worth playing around with the different ones saving different versions of the meshes and seeing what's going to work best for your particular mesh 